The video game console war is heating up, and tonight on GTTV, we head to the Penny Arcade Expo in Seattle to hear from fans about the Xbox One and PS4. Plus previews of next week's Grand Theft Auto V, Super Time Force, and an exclusive look at Beyond Two Souls. We go hands-on with Infinity Blade 3 for iOS, and Daniel returns to the range in Combat Facts. Fire up your jet. GTTV starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to an all-new GTTV on Spike. I'm Jeff Keeley. This week here in Seattle at the Penny Arcade Expo, where 80,000 gamers are getting together to be the first people in the world to play both the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. What do they think? Let's find out. This is the official PS4 Passport here. Four stamps. I'm over here at the Xbox booth where they've got playable Xbox One. I'm here with Daryl. You've played now Xbox One and PlayStation 4. What's the verdict? What are you taking home this holiday season? Um, I mean, I haven't gotten to play much, but what I can take away from that is that the PS4, the DualShock looks a lot better. It plays a lot better, feels better. That brings it up to par with the Xbox. I honestly thought the Xbox games were had a little more polish. Um, I didn't come in thinking one or the other would be better, and that's just kind of what I took away from it so far. With Alex, you have just completed playing Titanfall, something that many people at home are probably very jealous of you <laughs> for doing. Uh, how is Titanfall? Uh, it's amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on it for real. Uh, the 15 minutes of gameplay was not enough time. Over the years, just the Xbox for me has become a Netflix console, which is kind of strange considering I have to pay for Xbox Live Gold plus yep. the Netflix membership. PlayStation lets me have my Netflix membership for free. Well, yep. the Netflix cost. The number of exclusives for Xbox, last time I checked, was higher. Um, so I'll probably, probably judge it that way, at least initially. This holiday season, which one are you going with? I will probably pick uh, the PS4 because of the price. Yeah. I mean, Microsoft hasn't really done a, that good of a We're job. We're about to kick you out of this booth, by the way, just so you know. Oh, okay. Just kidding. John, give us your prescription. Which one should we be picking up? Oh, man, that's a hard choice. Um, I think for launch, I'm going to go with the PlayStation 4 and then pick up the Xbox One later. Save that 100 bucks, spend on some more games? Yeah, exactly. Excellent. All right, John, well, that is an excellent analysis. Thank you for that. Uh, we will hopefully see you online. Thanks a lot. Send the military, the army, throw every special operative you have against me because I would rather face the might of a nation than face this. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. In Beyond Two Souls, every action carries emotional weight with even the smallest details resonating throughout the story. What kind of garbage is that? Whether that may be tackling a covert mission a certain way or going to your first teenage party. Hey, don't choke on it. We got our hands on an early section of Jodie Holmes' life as she tries to dance around the pitfalls of adolescence. You can choose to fall into peer pressure or find yourself ostracized from an increasingly unfriendly crowd. Stop! Stop! Oh, Mr. Let me go! Multiple playthroughs allowed us to keep people at arm's length or have a moment to experience our first kiss. Guys! Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? We also get a taste of the power of Aiden, the soul that you can control at times to try to impress a picky crowd of partygoers as you manipulate the items around the room. The table. Look at the table. Awkward, alone, and ultimately humiliated, the party gave us a glimpse of the struggles facing Jody on a more personal level, as well as the demons that can be unleashed once Aiden crosses the line. Come October 8th, we'll follow Jody's struggles beyond her adolescent years, as well as solve the mystery behind Aiden when Beyond Two Souls hits the PS3. Let's go home. The console war isn't the only competition for gamers to watch out for this fall. Earlier in summer, almost a million gamers competed online in the Gran Turismo 6 time trials to secure a spot in the national finals. 32 of the fastest players made the trip to Times Square to battle it out in a series of challenges. And now it's time to go from virtual to reality as the fastest finalists head to the legendary Silverstone circuit in the UK where they'll get a chance to get behind the wheel of an actual race car. There's more on the line than a GT6 Platinum Trophy. Whoever wins gets a chance to become a professional Nismo athlete for Nissan. 
For more info, check out gtacademy.spike.com and be sure to tune in this November when GT Academy premieres on Spike. After the break, we get an in-depth look at Infinity Blade 3. We'll tell you why GT is excited for GTA 5. Nobody tells me what I want! And later, Tim Schafer stops by.